hello guys welcome back this is viren kumar so today in this video session i am going to discuss about the how we can run the jobs parallelly in the azure devops ci cd pipeline so in last video we have discussed how we can run the stages and the jobs sequentially now we have the conditions where we want to run the jobs parallelly to save the time parallel execution is very important and that we can achieve through the ci cd pipeline and there is the one method so method one is using the depends on keyword so on my screen you can see this is the demo a yaml pipeline where the stages is defined and there is the one stage and this is the stage two now we use the depends on keyword so when we left with the bracket empty after the stage this means this remove the implicit dependency on the previous stage so that means this statement will give you the parallel execution of the stages understand the example how we can run the jobs parallelly so this is the stage 1 okay this is the stage 1 this is called the test stage and this is the stage 2 which we call the deployment us 1 this is stage 3 deployment us 3 and this is the stage 4 deploy europe and this is just a demo pipeline now this stage will execute and after that the deploy us 1 and deploy us 2 will execute now these two stages will run parallelly and after these two stages will executed then the deploy europe will execute so these two stages are in the parallel execution so so these two stages will run after this test stage so means these two stages will start executing parallelly after these stages so this is the example to how we can achieve the parallel execution now we will check on the uh, devops azure yaml pipeline editor so for that i am going to switch to the dev.azure.com so this is the account which i have logged in and i will go to the pipeline there i will select the new pipeline and under the new pipeline i am taking the azure repos and for the demo i have the test repo then i will select the starter pipeline okay and then you can remove these all these things okay we'll understand from the starting now the first uh, declaration is the pull where we want to execute the stages so the pull declaration is started from here now we want to define the stages okay so we need the stages here now we want to define the one stage so the stage name is the Let's suppose I am typing the stage one. Okay, under this stage, I have the jobs. Okay, there I have one. One job is defined, so name job one. Okay. Now I need to define the one more stage. stage 2 now we define some so we have the jobs over there so now you can see the jobs and now i want to define the one job so this name of the job is the job 2 <coughs> okay so now we have the stage 1 So consider this is the stage functional test and acceptance test. Okay, and we have the one job we define. Now we want to make the dependency. So now let's see how it is run with the parallel execution. So we will go to the stage level, and there we type the depends on. So depends on, give the space and pull the empty bracket. And now 
save your pipeline okay we save the pipeline now we want to run the pipeline so click on the run pipeline button now we select the master branch and let's click on the run button now you can see that stage 1 and the stage 2 started at the same time so both are in the queue okay and there is the job 1 and the job 2 also in the queue position okay and <clears throat> running and executing in the parallel they are not in the waiting conditions so when we have the sequencing they are in the waiting conditions and it will be the stage 1 and the stage 2 but here there is, there is the stage 2 and they are executed in the parallel so this is a parallel job execution both jobs got executed and successful now let's try so this is a dependency so we provide that this remove the implicit dependency on the previous stage we will try with the four ones one two three four so we have the two stages now let's try with the four three and four so one two and this is the three stage job number three stage number four stage number four <clears throat> okay so now this stage don't have any dependency okay this is stage so let's remove the dependency for this one so now let's try to create the depends on so in the second stage we have the first stage dependency so this is stage one this is stage two so on the depends on we have the stage one dependency so i'll type the name of the stage one so this is the stage one dependency and stage three also have the stage one dependency so the stage two has the dependency on the stage one and stage three also have the dependency on the stage one okay that means these stage two and the three will execute in the parallel stage two and the three will execute in the parallel and after this stage the stage four will execute so stage 4 will execute for that we will provide the dependency okay and their hyphen dependency will the stage name so stage 2 and stage 3 so this has the dependence depends on the stage 2 element 1 stage 3 element 2 okay so we have these stage okay now i'm going to save the pipeline now let's run the pipeline okay now you can see this is structure you can simulate stage one stage two stage three and stage four this diagram is achieved to be here so stage one stage two stage three and stage four <coughs> so now you can see these jobs not executed if these are in the waiting conditions you can see these jobs are in the waiting conditions when jobs you can see these are in the waiting conditions so when there is a sequencing execution the jobs in the waiting conditions they are not into the queue they didn't get the agent when we execute in the parallel conditions all the stages will get the agent at the same time and they started the execution on the different different agents okay so now these two stages will run in the parallel execution and this stage one will execute first and the stage 2 and 3 will be in the parallel execution and after the completion of the stage 2 and the stage 3 stage 4 will start execution 
it's executed and the job one is executed successfully and after that stage two and three got started so this called the parallel execution of the stages and the jobs so you can see the jobs two and jobs three so both the jobs run parallelly so this called the parallel execution of the jobs okay once this parallel execution is completed then this stage four will start now they are waiting for the host so the job is in the pending status and the job two is completed and the job three will start the execution but this job is still in the waiting conditions so difference between the parallel and the sequence is that when all the jobs get the host at the same time and they are in the queue it's called the parallel execution but when the jobs in the queue position and they are in the waiting position and they are waiting for the host to be empty and allocated to the job it's called the sequence execution suppose we have the two jobs to be executed okay and the one job will executed on the pool number 1 and we want the jobs to executed on the pool number 2 so at the stage level 2 i am going to define the pool okay so the pool i am going to cut from here so for this stage 1 i will define the pool one okay and then we have the pool 2 under the stage 2 and this it's called as the windows latest pool okay now we have the stage 1 which will execute on the ubuntu host and job 1 will execute then we have the stage 2 there we have the pool number windows so we want that two jobs should run differently on the different different host so for that i am going to remove this dependency because we have only the two stages so i will put the bracket empty okay and now i'm going to save this pipeline so now you can see this is running on the parallel execution stage 1 and stage 2 okay so this job 1 will execute on the ubuntu latest and this job will run on the windows latest so it depends on the queue position okay both are in the queue and once the host is empty and free for the jobs they will start the execution so window job got the agent to be run and this is the job one is still in the queue number 1 so it will get the host and it will start the parallel execution now it's got executed the job 2 now the job 1 is starting so now you can see the job 1 is going to start okay so this called the parallel execution but still it's depend on the host availability so if your host are free the job will run at the same time but they are loaded into the system in the same time 